Straight out to Steve Helling, writer with People Magazine, joining us from the Orlando Jailhouse. Steve, in a nutshell, what do we know about the secret evidence just revealed? Well, there was a lot of evidence revealed today, everything from cell phone records to, uh, to uh, interviews that, that were done and just all sorts of documents that all paint a picture about Casey Anthony. What do you find the most disturbing out of what you've learned today? All of this evidence inside the police investigation now revealed. I think probably the most disturbing things are those, those pictures, those, those photos of, of skulls, the, the drawing of, of embracing skeletons, and then that picture of Casey Anthony, or Kaylee Anthony with a heart similar to the heart that was found with the body. Straight out to Natisha Lance, explain to me about the photos of the skulls. Well, Nancy, there's several photos of skulls. Some of those photos show skulls that are kissing other skulls. There's a skull that's made out of, out of an apple. There's several different sketches of skulls as well. And then also, as Steve hit on, there is this picture of Kaylee Anthony with this heart sticker that is very similar to the one that was found on the remains on the duct tape around Kaylee's remains. To Jean Casares, a legal correspondent with In Session, there are nearly a dozen of these photos posted morbid shots of human skulls. According to my research, they look as if they were posted on June 26. As I recall, Kelly went missing around June 21. That's a very critical time right there. Last time that, that Kaylee was ever seen alive, June 16th. Uh, there was partying on June 20th. So farther on to have these pictures, I think, is evident of a state of mind, prosecutors would say. Out to Dr. Bethany Marshall, psychoanalyst and author of Deal Breakers. Not only shots, morbid and disturbing shots of human skeletons, uh, skulls, some of them kissing Dr. Bethany, but shots of the top mom out partying uh, with various men, you know, fine, party like it's 1999, but what's probative here, what proves something to me is the dates, these photos, she had time and the mental wherewithal to download these, to post these on her personal website, literally in the days and hours, just as Haley, as Kelly goes missing. Well, two things come to mind. One is I have reviewed th hundreds, dozens of jailhouse pictures of incarcerated murderers who they have nothing else but time on their hands in jail, and so they just draw kinds of cartoons and pictures. And often you do see skulls, corpses, people stabbing people. I mean, if you've, if you've ever, you've probably looked at this kind of artwork before yourself, and it's really quite amazing. Well, um, actually, Dr. Bethany, when I was researching uh, a, a chapter called Blood Money for my book, Objection, mm. I had to go to websites where there were photos of crime victims, autopsy reports, uh, very morbid, disturbing photos. And at the time, this was years ago, before I even yes. heard of Kelly or Casey Anthony, I thought, if anybody did a computer search on this computer, they'd think, what a freak, going to all of these morbid websites and these photos where people sell murderabilia. It was awful. And this is what she's doing in the days and hours following Kelly's disappearance. And not only that, but the, the skulls, they're, they're kissing and they're embracing, which the state of mind that shows is a glorification and a romanticization of death and gore. Just like Scott Peterson, after killing his wife, he went and looked out over the bay. So the revisiting and the glorification. Now all the dancing and on the stripper pole and all of that shows almost like someone who's had a crime spree, that there's a burst of energy after the commission of the crime. And in a sense, it's sort of like dancing on the deceased person's grave, getting the child out of the, the way so that you can party. And sort of, as I've said many times before, embracing an idealized idea of what life would be without the child.